so the next question is on the workflow analyzer and let's see how many of you can answer this question okay which of the following rules belongs to the category reliability rules okay belongs to the category reliability so secure string argument usage variable naming convention infinite loop activity name defaults so read this carefully and tell me the right answer for this question is it one two three four pause the video here and start commenting okay let's see what is what is your guess okay so let me answer this so now SEC, NMG, REL, MRD, what is it? What is the meaning of all of this? Okay. So for this, all you do simply open this workflow analyzer. Okay. Very important. Open workflow analyzer and you see DBP means what? ANA means what? Right. There are so many things. MRD means what? Right. NMG naming. We know naming. Naming rule. NMG. Variable naming convention. So what are all this we have to know okay so for this what you do click on any of um, this hyperlink okay click on that and i'm going to show you where exactly you can find this so once that opens right this goes slightly up okay so here you have something called naming rules okay click on that naming rules and i'm going to show you what are all this and how you should remember so there is something called naming rule let me minimize this like this we have designed best practices okay first let's see the naming rule in the naming rule here you have something starts with nmg nmg means naming okay nmg means naming variable naming display name duplication all about naming related okay these are the rules okay this many rules are there st means studio nmg means naming 005 is the code okay like that for the naming it is nmg remember that for design best practices design best practices the design best practices category carry the dbp code look at this dbp dbp means design best practices like so like that there are so many design best practices available here high argument count so how i know is a best practice category dbp design these are the categories okay naming is the category dbp is one another category okay similar way let me go to the project anatomy rules okay so that will have ANA, the prefix will have, uh, the category have the ANA code in their ID. So ANA 003005, project workflow count, check project JSON exists. So ANA, ANA means anatomy, okay, anatomy rules, ANA, studio, anatomy, ST stands for studio. Okay, this is very important. Um, then maintainability, okay, MRD. So if you see MRD, MRD, the code MRD represents maintainability and re readability okay maintainable mrd means maintainability and readability like that there are so many different mt sequence maintainability and readability will come under mrd and then um, there is something called usage usage rules which will go with code usg usage hard coded activity argument unused variables package restrictions usage unused saved so it's all about usage okay usage category okay and the next one is performance and reusability go with prr category there is only one code hard coded delay activity prr okay performance and reusability just if you remember the p word performance should be good enough then reliability rules okay reliable will go with rel so what is our question here which of the following rule belongs to the category reliability so you have to look for reliability rel so this is the answer the answer is three okay three is the answer so only thing that you should know is just remember this codes okay reliability um, uh, uh, you know uh, designed by dbp right um, ana uh, anatomy rules right ana like that you should quickly remember all this uh, security rules for that sec security rules okay these are the very important page just spend two minutes of time just to go through some of them okay this will be very very helpful for you so the answer for this question will be option number three reliability okay thank you guys let's move on to our next question